In this video, we're going to write the equation for a line given just one point on the line and its slope value. And we're going to use what's called point slope form y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. And remember that the x sub 1, y sub 1 is just simply the x coordinate from the point given and the y coordinate from the point given. So in this case, x1 is negative 1 and y1 is. Four, and m value is our slope, which is the negative 5. So let's go ahead and write it. It's going to be y minus the positive 4 equals negative 5 multiplied by x minus negative 1, right? So it's going to be minus negative 1, but that becomes, at the opposite, plus 1. So that's it. That is our equation in point slope form. If we wanted to convert this into slope intercept form, we could. We could distribute the negative 5 on the right side, and then we would add 4 to both sides, and we'd have it in slope intercept form. But for now, this is good. Point slope form. So we're going to write that, type that in. y minus 4 equals negative 5 times x plus 1. And again, I think this is the easiest way to do this. But if you look in uh, delta math, they're going to give you another way. They actually use slope intercept form. So let's take a look what they did. All right, they go y equals negative 5x plus b because slope was given m, right? And then what they're going to do is we got to figure out what the b value would be. So they substitute in the negative 1 for the x and the 4 and for the y, and they solve for b. So they go ahead and they, they substitute that in. They do the work. They get b equals negative 1. So they write the equation y equals negative 5x minus 1. That's the same line that we did, except this is in slope-intercept form. Let's do another one. Write the – oh, maybe not. There we go. All right. So – this case, we have a slope is 3 fourths, and our x1 is negative 4, our y1 is negative 3. So we go write the equation. It's going to be y uh, minus negative 3, so I'm going to write it as y plus 3, add the opposite, equals 3 fourths multiplied by x minus negative 4, so I'm going to say x plus 4, okay? So that's our equation. That's in point-slope form. I want to show you how you can convert this, though. If we want to convert it to slope-intercept form, we do distributive property here. So we'd have y plus 3 equals 3 fourths x. And 3 fourths times 4 is 3. So plus 3. And then we'd subtract 3 from both sides, right? Minus 3, minus 3. And we would get y equals 3 fourths x. That equation slope intercept form. In this case, the y intercept is 0. So it goes through the origin, 0, 0. Um, if we put that into delta math, that would also work. Again, let me show you one more way the way delta math is showing it. So what they're doing is they're saying y equals mx plus b right away. And they're going y equals 3 fourths x plus b. Okay, and then what they're doing, they're substituting the negative 4 in for x and the negative 3 in for y. So they get this, negative 3 equals 3 fourths um, times negative 3, uh, I'm sorry, negative 4, i got to make sure I use the x, um, plus b, right? So then you end up getting negative 3 equals negative 3 plus b. You add 3 to both sides, you get b equals 0, which is going to be y equals 3 fourths x plus 0. You don't have to show plus 0. All right, so again, in delta math, we can enter this in. We can enter in any form of the equation. So let's just try to enter in this time just a slope-intercept form. y equals 3 over 4 x. And submit our answer, and there we go.